Everyone, and welcome to our Halloween spectacular back issues. I'm Tiffany. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. And uh, today we're going to be going down a spooktacular road. Ooh. I mean, you saw the title. You know I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, can't, can't bury the lead. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't pick this one. I said I was going so to, don't to blame make sure Tiffany. that I didn't pick this one. Ben? What? So today we're going to be doing the Spirits of Venom, which is really Spirits of Vengeance, but it's technically, it's a crossover between Web of Spider-Man and Spirits of Vengeance, two books that were going on at the same time. It's four issues. There you go. Two um, pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Yeah. I had an issue from this, and I was so... Was it Web of? Yeah. Okay. And I was so confounded, I was like, I don't know what in God's name is happening. Which is kind of amazing, because both Web of Spider-Man and Spirits of Vengeance were being written by Howard Mackey. What is Spirits of Vengeance? Spirits of Vengeance is a team-up book that includes Ghost Rider and John Blaze, Johnny Blaze, former Ghost Rider, um, in his mortal form with his um, Hellfire shotgun. Um, now, you might be thinking to yourself, but Tiffany, during this time... John Blaze was in Ghost Rider. Isn't that just that book? Right. Yes. But also... But, wait, what? But, but also Ghost Rider was going on. Because the fact is that at the time, Tom DeFalco wanted another Ghost Rider book. Uh, yeah. And more came out of that. And what came out of that was actually Rise of the Midnight Suns, um, which is contained in this, which I read all of, <laughs> thinking I needed to, mm, to prep for Spirits right. of Venom. And no. No. That's, well, well, yeah, because it, all the Spider-Man readers would, would be confused if you had to know all this crap. Right. Well, I mean, I thought something you... might lead up to it to uh, let me better understand where the characters like were. Like some extra insight, like some bonus right? you know. material? No. no. Some depth? No. <laughs> what about a sweet bitchin' story? Um, Do we at least get that? No. <laughs> so the Spirits of Vengeance team up was part of this initiative where they wanted to get this other Ghost Rider book. We'll go very briefly into the history of where that comes in, because the fact is at the time, Bobby Chase, who was an editor at Marvel, she was editing, um, she edited a lot of things. Hulk, um, she actually edited for Sephiroth of DC, she did a lot of Star Trek comics, but she was editing Ghost Rider at the time. I thought you were gonna tell me Bobby Chase was another Ghost Rider. Yeah. It sounds like a Ghost Rider. Yeah, that's a good Bobby name for Chase. a Ghost Rider. She had been told by a the current X-Men editor that like it's always good to have like a family of books going or like oh, a group God. of books. And so she proposed that they create this family of books, and that's where the Midnight Suns came from. Really? So Rise of the Midnight Suns is an initiative that was created and hastily slapped together, <laughs> where they took a bunch of writers and they asked them to have some pitches. And in fact, some of them already had pitches. They got it all approved, and then they had to literally go to a summit and actually write the damn stories. They didn't really have any ideas before they got there. They just had which title is, names? Yes. <laughs> with, or like concepts of where those books would inevitably go. But Rise oh. of the Midnight Suns is the lead up to that. That's how you get Rise there. of the Midnight Suns is six parts that include Ghost Rider, the launch of Spirits of Vengeance, the launch of Darkhold, the launch of Night Stalkers, and the launch of Morbius. An epic Sony film property coming up soon, starring Jared Leto. Mm. So you say it was in six parts, but not like six issues. No, six, six issues. issues. Oh, yeah. that's, oh, that's, that's six issues? for six issues. Well, this, this trade that we have includes all of Rise of the Midnight Suns and Spirits of Vengeance leading through this. Which is, okay. which is also called Spirits of Venom? This is called Spirits of Venom. Yeah. So Spirits of Venom is also in here. Uh, ah. That plus makes more sense. one additional issue of um, Ultimate, or not Ultimate, um, a later run of Midnight Suns Unlimited. Uh -huh. um, by the way, Rise of the Midnight Suns, not, it didn't work out the way they <laughs> quite wanted it to. I can't um, imagine. The Midnight Suns, they, they call it like one of the first families of books that they had at Marvel. The Midnight Sun books, any character that fell under the Midnight Sun publishing part of the line had a special logo on the side. Yes. It was the Midnight Sun's dagger that was put on there. And it was like one of the first times they'd ever tried something like this, according to them. Now, whether or not that's true, mm. you judge. Um, so they were, Midnight Suns was like a big thing. Midnight like, Suns was meant to, to be. Really, they were trying to They were trying one. to do something big with it. And most of the books didn't last very long. <laughs> I'm shocked. Right. Inevitably, books like Ghost Rider and Doctor Strange and those would come out of Midnight Suns and just continue on without 
referencing Midnight Sun. It's just being like, well, let's just forget about that period in our lives. Yeah. Hey, where'd concept? you come from? <laughs> or, no, 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 no. Remember that time so, you, how you hooked up with the Darkhold guys? Like, <laughs> no. So the concept for Midnight Suns was that they're, they created a big baddie who has popped back up. If you're reading the new Ghost Rider book, this is where she comes from. Hmm. Lilith. Howard Mackey Lilith. and others helped to create Lilith. So, okay. She's like a vampire. She's the mother of demons. Oh. Her, cool. her Lilin, as she calls what? them. Mm. The Lilin. That's what demons are? That's what she calls her children. Not all demons oh. are Lilin. Oh. But, the but Lilin, all Lilin, but all are, Lilin demons. are demons. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. They're like a species of demons. Or yeah. Or sub-demon. Well, they're yeah. her yeah. children, and it's about her return. They wanted to create a bad guy that was like Dr. Doomian, in a sense. <laughs> She's <laughs> not. Doomian. And um, was female. They, they decided they wanted to go sure, that Sure, yeah, well, that's cool. Um, they resurrect her, and basically immediately address the fact that it's like, okay, but wait a minute, you have a mother of demon returned to Earth. Wouldn't Doctor Strange deal with this? Yes. Sure. So Doctor Strange is like, oh, but I cannot. <laughs> like, because he reasons. shows up in the book and He's says, like, no. He... No, I must not. <laughs> so while Rise of the Midnight Suns, while it is because, like, at this time for Ghost Rider, like this Ghost Rider, Danny Ketch Ghost Rider, <laughs> is just Ghost Rider. Because Danny Ketch suffered a fatal wound to his neck and was dying. And so Ghost Rider showed up and was like, if I turn back into Danny Ketch, he will die. Oh. So it's just Ghost Rider 24-7. What does he, he do during the daytime? Mm-hmm. Well, Ghost he is Rider, Ghost Rider. No, Ghost Rider can turn into whatever he wants whenever he wants. This Ghost Rider is dependent on vengeance yeah. and touching the gas cap. So it doesn't matter daytime or not. He's just hanging out. He's so, just Ghost Rider. So he always has to be like a vengeance-seeking asshole. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. And John Blaze is like, we really need to deal with the Danny issue. <laughs> and so inevitably, like, Ghost Rider has, like, a vision <laughs> where, like... He ride to the hospital. He... <laughs> yeah. And then just, change. Just change, like... If you'd like to know, that is basically what ends up happening. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Strange gets involved. Oh, they, like... He is a doctor. They figure out how to make the switch. They have a surgeon standing by, and they save that, him. Yeah. Uh, you know, Just go to the hospital and be like... Okay, I think I'm going to get on the operating table. So, no, I think no. there is a little more to it. I think there's a mystical component to it. Like, oh. I've had it was created there oh. as such. But like Doctor Strange has to be involved with this. Sure. Um, I was going to say there's no way the hospital is going to let Ghost Rider oh, ride well. up. Well, there like, was that. So you're not allowed inside. Yeah. Yeah. You are on fire. We have oxygen here. You Sir. cannot come in. <laughs> so this is a no, it's hellfire. It's hospital. Real fire. Yeah, it's, like, it's different. It's different. It won't have it. Will it burn? Yeah, a little bit. Well, your soul. But not like physical stuff. Or sometimes that too, I guess. Right. Um, <laughs> it seems like he could be Ghost Rider a lot around a hospital. I like There's the idea. Of, I, I like the idea of Ghost Rider twenty four seven. Twenty four seven Ghost Rider. That's what the book should be called. Ghost Rider twenty four seven. But the fact is, this book also establishes the fact that it's like their lives are intertwined. Right. Like, like John Danny Lice can't help Johnny. but get back into this because he is meant to, and that's a big part of this. That he's like meant to. He's meant to. Like he has to be According a part of it. According to whom? According to fate. Oh, the, like editor. Fate, to fate? Uh, the editor. No, <laughs> no. But the fact is, Rise of the Midnight Suns is basically the collection of a force. It's a set of nine characters who will be able to defeat Lilith because nine is a powerful number, essentially. Okay. And uh. so, like, they must have this amount of people. And Doctor Strange is the one that pulls the strings and makes it happen. Ghost Rider doesn't actually form this team. Ghost Rider is just a part of it. He's- he has a vision where he sees the members of it and they go and talk to them, which is how they get into their number ones. But Doctor Strange is the one that makes it happen. It takes five parts to introduce all of the components to it. And then the sixth one, they just deal with the problem and move on. They beat Lilith in six? They beat Lilith in six, but she comes back immediately. Like at the but they defeat her and by the end of that issue she's back. Oh my god. (laughs) They defeat her in a really interesting way, though. Oh. I'll give them this. I'll give them this. They actually defeat her in an interesting way. But it doesn't matter because she's back before the end of the book. Well, she has um, one of her Lilin. His name's Pilgrim. He's able to, like, swipe the air, essentially, and create these portals, right? Okay. The okay. way she'll bring back her children, even though she's not quite ready to do it, but her hand is forced by Strange and this collection of nine. That oh, he Strange shows up with the nine? No, but by his machinations. I see. Because he uses portals to send them up to the Arctic, the land of the Midnight Sun. 
What? Oh. What is he meant to do? He's meant to open the portal that will release the Lilin. Where okay. is the portal? In her body. So he rips open a portal oh. into her like chest cavity, essentially. Awesome. And cool. like she reaches in to grab the first the Lilin, and who does she grab? But Danny Catch, who is like in limbo, essentially wandering his soul. So like she brings him forth as like her ace in the hole, what? transforming him into a Lilin as he comes through. Oh. And so he is now half transformed and half not, and attacking them. And John's like, I don't want to kill you. And like, well, but all he wants to do is kill him, isn't the first? No, he wants to kill Ghost Rider, not John, no. not Danny Ketch. He's like Danny Ketch is just a dude. He's like me, man. Oh, so he's a Danny Ketch in Danny Ketch form. <laughs> yeah, but he's not like Danny. Is this Danny Ketch like part Danny Ketch, part, part, part Lillian? Like yeah, me. part Lillian. But, so he, but they know that Danny Ketch is in there, and so they have to get around that. But inevitably, like all of the nine show up, and so the nine are Danny Ketch, John Blaze. Morbius, Montessi, she is part of the Darkhold group, yes. her two friends, and the Night Stalkers, Frank Drake, Hannibal, and uh, Blade. I was oh. just saying, Blade okay, has cool. to be one of them, right? Where's Blade? Where Blade? Now, Yay. the Night Stalkers, by the way, are against the occult. Sure. Aren't they all occult characters? Yeah. And, like, Ghost Rider figures it out. He's like, I know what I'm going to do. And he takes Lilith, and he, like, picks her up, a la the Emperor, okay. the Vader, and then he takes her, and he bends her over and he takes her and he starts shoving her into her own portal. Well, he keeps, ah. And he just... <laughs> he just turns her like inside out. Basically, basically. he just shoves her in and he's like, figure that out. He cartoons her. Yeah. Yeah, and then everything kind of falls apart. He just yeah. shoves her head up her own ass. Yeah, and then she just comes back. Yeah. And she, like, one of, like a few of her Lilin are still there. Most of them are either dead or unconscious. One is alive. Um, and, like, she's like, oh no, the magic of Lilith is gone. I'm going to die here. I'm going to freeze to death. When Lilith comes back, um, the, the Lilin who's there is like, I, you know, what, what are we going to do? And she's just like, you have to help to empower me. She's like, I have nothing to give you. And she's like, I will eat you. And my Lilin will help me survive. And so she eats those and then brings them back later. Oh. It's real messed up. Uh, d when she comes back, is she inside out? Nope, she's totally normal. She's just normal. She just comes back. Sure. What is that? This all started because one guy wanted another Ghost Rider book. <laughs> one other Ghost Rider book. And it's literally a redundant one because you had Ghost it's... Rider, which starred John Blaze and Danny Ketch. And then they were like, how about Spears, Spears of Vengeance, Vengeance, which stars Johnny Blaze and Danny Ketch. <laughs> and, that's, and they're both written by the same guy. And then we'll bring out uh, Morbius and Doctor Strange well, and that... all these other characters in Midnight Sun. Yeah. Well, that was, and that was what came out of it. So... Right. That, that's how it got, out, got away from it. Yeah. This is what you, you know, do. That's ironic. Because Howard Mackey also was an architect of the Clone Saga, which mm. also got away from itself. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, this is a mess. And it didn't even end. And we're not even at the part where they introduced yet another Ghost Rider-esque character called Vengeance. Nor are we getting to the part where Doctor Strange has like a spawn costume. No, but Vengeance oh does come out of Spirits of Vengeance. Right? Well, naturally. Well, that would make it sense. has to. Well, yeah. because, it, and like, Ven like, Vengeance himself is another Ghost Rider character who is more like Johnny Blaze than Danny Catch because he makes a deal with the devil. He's actually kind of like an amalgam because he also has like this amulet thing, kind of like um, Danny, Danny and the gas cap. And like he had power within him and like Mephisto kind of tricks him basically into making a deal with him to unlock the power that he already had. Uh, and so, that's fair, I get that. Yeah, and so inevitably like Vengeance's whole deal is he wants uh, vengeance on Zarathos. And so he thinks that mm. John, Danny Ketch is Zarathos, and so he makes the deal to become vengeance, and he learns later on, oh, you're not, and so he kind of joins up with them. He's like an anti-hero kind of thing. Right, right. right. I never really understood. Because yeah. Zarathos isn't even there. Yeah. So right. vengeance only wants vengeance on one thing or person. And it's a demon, and he's not even on Earth. Right. That's hilarious, because <laughs> can you imagine that, like, Mephisto makes the deal with what will become Vengeance, and then Vengeance goes to Earth, and Zarathos is there, and he's like, <laughs> did it work? Like, he's like, I'm not even up there. It's like ordering a pizza for a house that didn't order it. This all wraps up, right? Thank Rise God. of the Midnight Sun forgivably wraps Six up. Six parts. It's 28 is the, the kickoff, 31 is the end of it. In between, there, there's one issue of Spirits of Vengeance, then we do Spirits of Vengeance number two and number three, and then we get to four, which in the, is in the midst of Spirits of Venom. Right, now, okay. So they're in the middle of an event, and then they're like, how about another? They basically have one issue. No, I guess they have two issues. No, one issue that's not tied in, because issue two, although not part of Rise of the Midnight Suns, is directly related to Rise of the Midnight Suns and what's going on with them. Dear God. So, okay. 
there is Ooh. the there is this initiative where There's they're like Let, let's do these darker occultian family of books. Yes. And then whose bright idea was it to go and how about Venom though? He's selling. So, okay. So <laughs> Danny Fingeroff. Ah. So Danny Fingeroff goes is chatting with Bobby Chase and they come up with a title. These are the editors of the books. Yes. The Danny Fingeroff is the editor of Web of Spider-Man, written by Howard Mackey, and Bobby Chase is the editor of um, Spirits of Vengeance. Written by Howard Mackey. Right, because Vengeance and Venom both begin V-E-N. Right? Essentially, Fingeroff's <laughs> like, wouldn't it be cool if John Blaze showed up in Web of Spider-Man? No. Why? Why would thinks, that be cool? I don't know. This is according to Mackey. This is Mackey's account of it. Wouldn't it be cool if John Blaze showed up in Web of Spider-Man? No. Bobby Chase goes, <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if Venom showed up in Spirits of Vengeance? Technically, yes. Alex, More cool. Alex Saviak... Oh no. Who is the artist on Web of Spider-Man goes, wouldn't it be cool if I could draw not only John Blaze, he's fine, I wanna draw Ghost Rider. Right. Meanwhile, Adam Kubert goes, I wanna draw Venom. Yeah, right? that's a great reason to create a, you a story. Know, and so story. they go, Mackie, write it. Ah, so they just, everyone has these ideas that are cool visuals, yep. and then they foisted it on poor Howard Mackie to make it all make to sense. To be fair, Howard yep. Mackie's like, okay. Oh, I'm right. down. I'm in. Let's do it. I've given Howard Mackey a really hard time, but he seems like a genuinely cool dude <laughs> he's, who who has yeah. legitimately gone through a lot of crap. And so I do want to apologize for that. I am going to give this book a hard time. <laughs> I'm not giving Howard Mackey a hard time. Dude somehow got himself to be a writer at Marvel. He was an exporter. He worked in the exporting business. He was he, an ex he was was he an importer? Importer? Import no, exporter? just exporting. Okay. Just no exporting. No just importing. Exporting. Just exporting. But what literally did he export? That's all I don't he's doing know. Here. But um, exporting comics. he ended up as an editor over at Marvel, and then they were like, you should probably try writing too. He did, jumps on a whole bunch of books. They just keep giving him stuff. Man's just excited to be a part of things. I can't fault him for that. <clears throat> he just likes doing it. Fair enough. Here's a picture of Tiffany with Howard Mackey right now. No. <laughs> what do you need to know about this? Well, you didn't have to read this. <laughs> what? No, we needed to know all the bloated history of this you because- You really didn't. You really only need to know um, issue 94 of Web of, Web of Spider-Man and issue number three of Spirits of Vengeance. That's, what yeah. you, that's the lead up you need. But how would you know that you only needed those two unless, unless you read, you read all things. six issues? I'm saving you some time. Yeah. Covers Sorry. are cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's friggin' Ghost Rider stuff. It should look cool. This it's, is just, it doesn't, if the cover doesn't look cool, you failed completely. Yeah. I love both the covers on this, by the way. This is, this is a trade that I've had yeah. uh, that I've never read. Because I'm like, no. Hmm. I'm, so I'm happy with it. Nope, that's me. stupid. Nope. But literally, like, both covers are amazing. First, you got the awesome, you know, in the sewers, Venom clearly defeats Gan Danny Catch Ghost Rider. And then on the back, you have a in Venom mouth <laughs> looking out camera at, at Ghost Rider who's like about <gasps> to be eaten. So, yes. as you can tell, Adam Kubert, the, there's literally a little, like, one page, like, homage in this book written by Adam Kubert about, like, the inspiration he found from Venom. What? Yeah. Yeah, Venom's such an this inspiring like, character. For him, it was. Like, for him, it, like, blew his mind. There was something about the character that, like... What if Spider-Man had roids? No, it, it's, it's, it's about, like... talk to himself. It's about, like, just the overall, like, the fluidity of the character and, like, the mass and all that. They're, all right. Plus, right. Plus, like, teeth like sharks. They just grow yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Like, inside his mouth. The, like The first <laughs> issue of well, that we see of Spirits of Vengeance with Adam Venom? Kubert on it, with oh. Venom in it, he's drawn Venom, and it's neat. By the second one, he's like, this is my last chance. And it goes, like, <laughs> off the wall. He swings for the fences. In issue 94 of Web of Spider-Man, two characters named Troll and Hag, who are from Ghost Rider lore. Are they bums? Nope. They they were ridiculous superhero, like, almost Super Saiyan sort of characters from, like, you know, Dragon Ball Z, the big shoulder pad things, like, you know. Okay. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah. want to say Super Saiyan. I really should say, like, um, what's his name? Uh, Vegeta. Um, anyway, <laughs> but um, they are a part of this in a big bad way, so we need to know who they are. Okay. And Troll and Hag are? Troll and Hag. <laughs> part of it. Part, part of, of it. it. <laughs> they are. Uh, Troll and Hag are actually the reason, you ever Death Watch? The Trans Lord? No. <laughs> I know the Trans Lord. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I can't say I do. So <laughs> Death Watch we mentioned briefly in the other Ghost Rider episode that we did about Danny Catch, because he's kind of the reason Danny Catch has a whole bunch of issues to begin with, again, created by Howard Mackey. Um, he is a demon, something or other. It's never really explained. Wait, never explained, never, never addressed. addressed. I'm doing it the other way around, because I said it. <laughs> um, 
he, um, we don't know where he came from, what he's all about, but he's a trans lord, he's very powerful, and he's summoned here by these two individuals. Troll and Hag. Troll and Hag, who offer a part of their life, essentially, and they're granted mystical powers. What other powers, you might ask? Well, Troll and Hag need to feed off of the life essence of other individuals. Troll has, like, some weird arm thing that becomes, like, a green tentacle that he can grab people and, I guess, absorb their energy. And Hag can, like... I guess affect people's minds and like can entrance them, but then like she'll take her hand and like shove it into your chest and like, you know, Suck absorb your energy, your energy. Okay. that way. So, so she'll Kalima you without like the actual pretty much. heart. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Troll and Hag have been a thorn in Ghost Rider's side along with Death Watch. Death Watch in issue 24 of Ghost Rider is killed. Oh. He dies. Ghost Rider defeats him. Great. Cool. And as we find Good out job. later on, Troll and Hag took the body. Oh. They've been carrying it around. Oh my carrying god! Carrying it around. They just, they just been hanging on to it. Okay. Um, it's all grody at this point. Oh, it's nasty. The guardsmen <laughs> are securing a prison that Troll and Hag bust into. Right during that fight, because literally they're there just to absorb people and just get some energy. Oh, or they're, they're just gonna break into it. Oh, so why would they go to like a grocery no, store? Why no, a this prison? Is perfect. <laughs> Innocent people are at a grocery store. If you break into a prison they and care? you kill the bad guys, who the fuck gives a shit? Well, look, what do they care? They're, because they're, they're, they're what ends up happening people. is they kill a couple of the guardsmen and they accidentally release Venom. Oh. oh, so they needed to try to go there so that Venom could get out. Venom gets out and then Venom's like, <laughs> The book hey. needed them to be there. That's why. Meanwhile, John Blaze and Ghost Rider meet up in Boston. So during the, the Midnight Sun's time, because like John Blaze runs a carnival, Circus. Oh, okay. What? So does he what? does he coordinate the carnival to to visit the the places that he no, and like Ghost Rider are gallivanting? Like, no, no, no. Because here's the thing. Like, they're like <laughs> Is it a his... traveling carnival. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. he have a motorcycle show in the carnival? Yeah. Is because is he oh. part of it? Part of part it. Yeah. Of no. It. Occasionally he he is because like he's got this sweet new motorcycle and so like he they use that for in the part show. of that. In fact, that's cool. In, oh, maybe he's no no. I'm sorry. He's not in Boston. He goes to New York because the carnival has moved from Providence, where it was during mm. Rise of the Midnight Suns, to Dover, New Jersey. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? And I bet I know why. B- because that's where Adam Kubert. Oh. So the like, carnival for that is in, yeah, they, they go there and like, look, it looks nothing if like. If you're going to visit a place yeah. in a comic book that's real, yeah. you go to Dover, New Jersey, you're like, wait, the Kubert school is here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly, exactly. John Blaze is going to meet up with Ghost Rider in the city because they're going to have a little chat, basically. It's the Spirits of Vengeance. This is like issue four of this book. And already John Blaze is done. He wants out. He doesn't want anything to do with Ghost Rider anymore. Good. He goes to Midtown Manhattan to talk with Dan um, about him leaving. He's Just like, say I'm, goodbye. Yeah. yeah, I'm going back to my family. I'm, I'm done. done. Whatever. Who cares? Good. You know I'm serious because I called you Dan. Exactly. Dan. <laughs> Dan. Dan. I'm serious Dan. about this. Dan. Um, Dan. Essentially, they have a run-in with Troll and Hag where they discover that they have the body of Death Watch. And, and they're like, gross. Yeah, they, they yeah, Put exactly. it in the ground, man. Except they realize, like, oh my god, they're planning to bring him back. They Naturally. can't bring him back. That's a horror story right there waiting to happen. They, um, the reason they find out about this is because they stop to, like, kill a bum. And they save the bum. And then the bum's like, oh man, like, too bad you couldn't help the others. It's like, the others? Shit. Right. So it's like, now we have, there are a whole bunch of missing, like, homeless people. And How is Spawn not jumping into this book? No, because remember, Venom later on will have an affinity for homeless people in his own series. Right. That's right. Like, they now know this, and they go down to the sewers in order to find them. That's what you need to know. You need to know okay. Troll and Hag have the body of Death Watch. They've pissed off Ghost Rider and John Blaze, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and Venom's out to get them. Because of the guardsmen's deaths. Yeah. Yes. Venom's been hunting. So Troll and Hag okay. have killed homeless people, which pulls in the Ghost Riders, mm-hmm. yeah. and the Guardsmen are dead, which pulls in Venom. Yeah. So now we've got so this. So they are, they are the antagonists of the story? Troll and Hag are the antagonists? That sucks. Well, it's not just Troll and Hag, because Death Watch well, also had something oh, called... Oh, yeah, Death Watch. De- yeah. Death Watch also had beings called the Death Spawn. Death Spawn <laughs> were these, like, people... It's like people, not people, who are also demonic, who he pulled in, and, like, they're part of his power or what have you. And they're like shadow beings, so they can travel in the shadow and make everything like t- totally dark and cause blackouts and stuff this like that. It's really convoluted. Wow. I had to learn all of this. Um, <laughs> I read all of this. Uh, um, you're doing an amazing you're job. Listen. This and, is confusing. And yeah. They, yeah, this Death Wash made people. They, and they they suck made, too. He's got like these like inky, gross things that can like go anywhere and stuff like, like that. Ooh. And they can be kind of like venom. Kind of, except like they're, they can become like two dimensional. Yeah. And then like can, shadows. And they become. Oh my God. 
like, you know, like solid and can like punch people. They're like running a warehouse that is Death Watches because I guess they're running look, a warehouse. Listen, listen, listen. Like they're paying the bills. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're exporting things. Look, they had this is their backup plan, obviously. This is everyone's little notch. If we got like Dover, New Jersey's Andy Kubert's yeah. contribution. The warehouse and exporting is Mackie's contribution. Right. Well, They've the got fact, like a poster on the wall of all the right employees what you of the know, month. Right? Yeah, right. Which is how well, he the, always keeps getting the employees. The fact is, is that like they're keeping safe this area because they're also part of the like, let's bring Death Watch back right. plan. Naturally, obviously. Yeah, and right. if it doesn't work out, we hey, got this sweet warehouse. Exactly. <laughs> we they, can export. They have a fallback plan. Good on them. Right. Absolutely. Good on we them. Contract that to the mob. It's the American so, dream. Yeah. Naturally, we have all these characters we've introduced, right? Yeah. The book starts with Spider Man swinging through the city. Great, sure. as they always do. The yeah. yeah. Because so they're not horrible. The story just started. The story just started. He has Hobgoblin, who he's recently captured, Mac and Dale Hobgoblin. Ah, um, who would be Jack O' Lantern? Right. Um, he uh, recently was in the employ of the Foreigner <laughs> yes. and was hired out to assassinate an, an individual uh, who I don't remember the name of. Doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter. Spider Man stopped him from killing him, and Hobgoblin's like, "Well, to be fair, I didn't actually kill him." But right. Guy, so I didn't really the, commit but a crime. But the guy had a heart attack, and Spider Man's like, "But if he dies, you're done." Mm. And I'm taking you to jail. Done. You're going you are a to scary jail. man. Well, no matter what, That's, he's going to jail. Yeah, and like, Spider Man's right. kind of had enough. You go to right. jail. I'm That's... going to jail. It's a stormy night. Ooh. Oh. They're swinging through the city. Uh-oh. And all of a sudden, Spider Man's spider sense goes off. As it would do. And he's, he's like, oh, holy crap. We already have the Hobgoblin. <laughs> right? But nearby is the Demo Goblin. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and the Demo Goblin <laughs> is there to get Mackendale. Right. Because yeah. they're, they're bitter rivals. Right. Kind well, of. well, he hates him because the Demo Goblin was technically a demon who then made d- a deal kind of with Hobgoblin and inhabited him. And then he realized how stupid that was because he got his <laughs> ass kicked by Ghost Rider and John Blaze. And then he realized he was like, wait a minute, his brand of demons, as we will explain in this book, are like, no, like we're kind of pious in a way. We're going to get rid of all like demonic presence on right. Earth. The Demo and, Goblin. The Demo the Goblin. Goblin yeah, demons. he's all religious. At yeah, this point, and right? so yeah. like he's going to get rid of all of them. And then it'll just be them, that, that sect that's left, and then he'll kill all them, and then he'll be redeemed, and it's going to be awesome. Oh, that's the plan. I thought you were saying, the and demo, then he'll kill himself. The Demo Goblin no. demon is looking for redemption. Well, that's like the end goal, but like... Isn't he a demon? Get, yeah, but like, look, that's what his... That's... Look. Look at that's Ghost Rider. What I'm just saying, <laughs> like, listen, Demo Goblin, all I remember from Demo Goblin is that he was originally, not unlike Ghost Rider, attached to Mackendale. Yep. And that eventually Mackendale expunged that demon, and that yeah. demon still liked the goblin whole angle. Well, and he became another goblin. Yeah, but then he found God, and right. Uh, no, it's just his sect. Yeah, we're like, oh wait, they realized that demons were bad. Yes, and so like they're kind of they're like self-hating demons. Right, and so like they're playing. Oh, wait, we're demons. Oh, yeah, guys. well they're like, no, look, we'll do Plan A, get rid of all demons. Plan B, we'll fight. Yeah. It'll be like the Highlanders or right. the Immortals. Mm. Yes. Um, and then once there's only one of you, you commit seppuku and that's over. Then there's no more right. demons. Demaku. But he has decided that he needs to start with Mackendale. He's going to get him because he's like, my blood was, like, we were mixed, right? Yes. He has the scent of the demon taint. Quote, <laughs> my taint. What? His taint? The demo goblin's taint? Why is why is his what? taint in this book? <laughs> What does that mean? Taint, well, I mean, it's literally raining, that's so in the book. Wet, the scent wafting. of his taint. T a i n t. Yeah, T my taint. The taint. <laughs> yeah. So really? What? <laughs> <laughs> so Demo Goblin. He's all about it. Is look, Demo Goblin's a force to be reckoned with all on his own. Oh yeah. But so you know is what? The taint. <laughs> we don't have. <laughs> We don't have enough characters in this book. Right, we gotta add goblins. We need another we need another character, right? Like Demo Goblin's gonna take care of Mackendale, but like I don't have time to take care of Spider Man, so I have a doppelganger Spider Man with me. Oh god. Can't take any of the editor's notes that don't have to do with Web of Spider Man in this as correct because Finger Off mentions the Spirit of Vengeance books and they're incorrect. <laughs> No, nah. he's like, as seen in issue thirty-two, and it's nope. like uh, it was actually four. He goes, as seen in issue, <laughs> Tiffany knows. He said, as seen in issue three, and then as finished in issue five. Issue five's in this. It's they're both issue four. He's just wrong, <laughs> just wrong. <laughs> Sounds like the editor needed an editor. So, so, so basically, they're trying to get all the scariest looking 
Spider-Man things into, into, a, into this book. Exactly. Demonstrably not scary it themed need, yeah, book. You don't, need, you don't need any of this. <laughs> into a not yep. Spider-Man book. Right, yep. because remember, this isn't Spirits of Spider-Man. No, it's nope. Spirits of Venom. But Spider-Man has to be in this too. But Venom is a Spider-Man thing. This is kind so. of a precursor to Maximum Carnage because we've got two out of six of the team. Right, well, mm. here, really what this is, is Howard Mackey was writing these two books and so Spider-Man had to be in it. Right, because... Matthew was writing Web of Spider-Man and also Ghost Rider and well, also Spirits of Vengeance. Exactly. Well, I mean, if I'm going to oh be writing God. the story, I'm going to, like, ape off myself. And right, why this not? Too. Yeah. Um, so, basically, Demo Goblin throws Doppelganger Spider-Man at them. Yes. Doppelganger, or Spider-Man's like, oh, crap, gets them away from there. They run into uh, Demo Goblin. Mackadale's, like, shitting himself as he sees him there. Yeah, he really, he's yeah. very much trying to avoid getting killed by Demo Goblin. Yeah, okay. and exactly. Spider-Man tied him up, so I, he's screwed. I yeah. absolutely <laughs> love that Spider-Man is just grabbing uh, Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin and carrying him through this entire thing. And Hobgoblin's like, yeah. Yeah. You could, could leave you me, me here. Somewhere? Nope, you're coming with me because you're going out, to man. jail. Just, just undo Hobgoblin, my Hobgoblin, no, ho legit in this book, Hobgoblin just keeps going, just let me go and I can help you yep. like I've done before. Yeah, right. I would like to not die. And no, you're a to, bad guy. There's literally a two-parter that I read back when I was a kid mm -hmm. that has... Hobgoblin and Spider-Man fight Demo Goblin yep. and the Spider Doppelganger, and then at the end of the issue, Demo Goblin picks up what they thought was the dead body of the Doppelganger, but it turns out wasn't. And so that's like the prelude to this, where yeah. Demo Goblin and Spider Doppelganger team up. Sure. So it's like, just let me loose and I'll fight with you just like we literally just did. Yes. Right, but Spider-Man's like, in, no. In adjective of Spider-Man. No. Spider -Man I would Spider rather do this protection mission. Yeah. Then Trust me. fight alongside a dude he just bought. I want to fight with one hand tied behind my back. Exactly. Please. So, you know, obviously Demo Goblin just keeps like you know proselytizing and is like, hey, look at right. like, he here's the thing. Speeches. Here's the thing. Like, I'm gonna kill you. You have got the taint on you. I'm coming for you. And um, <laughs> anyone who stands in my way or protects you is also gonna die. I don't really care. I'm not gonna kill Spider-Man. But Doppelganger Spider-Man here really's got a problem with you. Yeah, because so, he's a mindless monster. Yeah, and he calls him the mindless one. He doesn't refer to him as mm. doppelganger, but it's... That's kind of infringing, because in the Marvel Universe, there are also mindless ones. <laughs> I know. But it's so, probably lowercase ah, ah, right. but Lower, those mindless yeah. ones are all spawns off of this mindless one, right? Hey, he nope. controls them and he spreads out. No, exactly. No, no. So, in order to get away, Spider-Man throws doppelganger Spider-Man at Demo Goblin, so they get all entwined, because he's got six arms, and he's just like, it's fine, we'll yeah. have, we have a chance. They get away. They basically, like, just drop and plummet down into a church. Okay. okay. Where, oh, um, hollow ground. Exactly, where a priest comes upon them. <laughs> and, and Hobgoblin's still complaining about, yeah. like, he's like, if you just let me go, like, we would have been fine. I could yeah. have helped you. And, oh, faith in Bukhara, what are you? <laughs> and he's like, you know, he goes like, oh, my word, Spider-Man, ah. And, like, Spider-Man's like, hey, look, I really need some help. And he starts trying to explain it. And the priest is like, say no more. Spider-Man, I know you're a good guy. And you do a lot of good for the city. Come with me. And he takes them down a staircase that would never exist in a church. Because <laughs> it's, like, literally, like, in it's like a video game level. Yep. It's like a Castlevania yep. level. <laughs> There's, it's just, this, this is in New York. This, this, is, this, this giant cavern. Yeah, this cavernous room with, <laughs> with these, these, like, stone, stone buttresses. Steps, yeah. yes. If you break one of the stones, a turkey drops out. <laughs> exactly. So that happens. Spider-Man's hanging out. So the priest out. is led... Spider-Man and Hobgoblin into the labyrinth. Basically. <laughs> no, no, no. This is just a kill basement. So <laughs> then, of course, Demo Goblin and Doppelganger Spider-Man show up at the church. They yep. pose for a photo that no one will take of them. <laughs> and like... Wait, I thought South said there was a hallowed ground. He can't go in there, right? It doesn't matter. And like, Demo Goblin's hallowed. like, this is amazing. This is spectacular. Here we are in this church. What a great place for me to start my crusade. This is uh, awesome. I'm, okay, I'm a genius. Just keep it to yourself. So then the priest comes upon them, much like he came upon Spider-Man. Why isn't yeah. he in the basement with the other two. Yeah. Why did he go upstairs? He went to get blankets for them. <laughs> what, they're gonna nap? I don't know. I'm right. a priest, this is what I do. You either confess to me or I get you a blanket. Listen, this is just the night for the priest to come upon a person who is a spider person and a goblin. Right. Yep. That is all I'm doing That's today. That's why I'm this coming is across my a scarier spider person and a scarier goblin. Yeah, oh my god, Spider-Man and Hobgoblin, how did you get up here and look yeah, really I just different. took you down to the basement, though. <laughs> right, the basement that's right over there <laughs> no, at those steps. The priest is surprisingly cool. He's like, get out. <laughs> get out. Get Fair out. enough. Go away. No, he's Does like, he bang I'm a not... pan in a pot together or hold <laughs> his Bible up? No, he, the, the, the doppelganger Spider-Man tries to kill him. He sure. doesn't stop him. Because Demo like, Goblin's all about sinners. sinners. Yeah. So he's like, he's not a sinner. We're not going to kill him, man. Chill out. By the way, he's going to change his tune in that Maximum Carnage when no he just starts killing people doubt. indiscriminately. But exactly. Whatever. So then, like, he grabs the priest and he's just like, all right, let's go. I, I can smell it. The taint is in the air. Oh, my God. Well, especially it. in the church. <laughs> yeah. And, like, the priest is like, well, I mean, you're a demon. 
Right. Maybe it's you. <laughs> Have and you it, tried smelling your own taint? And he's like, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then like Lilith. You can't smell your own taint. It's physically impossible. <laughs> So like Demo Goblin's like, how will you know unless you try? He's like, that'll be a topic that'll be addressed, but not right now. Spider-Man sees all this happening. He's like, what? He wants to go get blankets. What a a dumbass! He was only gone for like ten seconds. Spider-Man steps up and tries to save the priest. Okay, right. Inevitably, we will watch as like Demo Goblin's like, I've got the priest. Give me Mac and Dale, and then he takes the priest and he throws him at Spider-Man. And now Spider-Man has the priest and Mac and Dale, and I'm like, okay. So pro tip: if you're looking to make a deal with anyone in the Marvel universe. Make it's it with Demo, Demo Goblin, Goblin because yep. he's an idiot. Yes. Yep. Just sell him anything. He's a Let's total make a trade, <laughs> throw. Are we going to make the trade now? I've given you my chip. <laughs> Where are you going? Nope. Yeah. Oh, I gave you the priest. Move. You have to surrender to me. Uh, no. no, no, we had to do that, man. You just went through with <laughs> it. Should have been a long, like just a couple of panels of Spider-Man just looking at Demo Goblin blank and yeah. then just leaving. <laughs> right? Looking at no? Demo Goblin, looking at the priest and Magic. Yeah, the priest is like, hey, what are you doing, sinner? Oh, we had a deal. <laughs> No. Farewell. No, I love that also, like, Demo Goblin is like, I'm pretty sure Spider-Man's a sinner. I don't really know that, but I'm right. just going to say he well, is. Well, the priest make, vouches for him. Right, but no. So, well, maybe at this point you're wondering, but where is Ghost Rider and John Blaze? Yeah, those are like the guys. Yeah, where's, like, where's, where's any of this going? Yeah. So, like, why did they go to the basement? <laughs> why is the priest even so, in the book? John Blaze and Danny Catch, Ghost Rider, are in the sewers tracking right. down... Troll and Hag yes. with Death Watch yeah. and the Death Spawn. And they're wandering around down there. Right, because those, those those plots are converging. Right, yeah. and they realize they're like, oh my god, someone's following us. And they turn around and Venom's there. Awesome. And right. like, it's like, this is where we get to see... Two cool drawings. Right, basically. Yep. Hey, this is the Alex Saviak stuff. At so. least Venom oh, no. is smart. He's crawling on the ceiling. They're wading through the muck. Well, yeah. they, they can't crawl on the ceiling. Yeah, because they don't have ripped off Spider-Man adhesion powers. Exactly. Right? So immediately they are like besieged by Death Spawn and Troll and Hag, who are like, sweet. Listen, Hag tried to absorb Ghost Rider's power in the past, and it, it never works. She can't do it. She's like, but maybe the Death Spawn can. I'm, I'm interested to see what happens. We're going to take John Blaze and Venom, though. They're, they're going to be sacrifices for when we bring Death Okay, cool. Yeah. This, is gonna, this is the plan, right? Mm-hmm. So then there's a cool fight, and they all fight, right? Dope. Sweet. Unfortunately, it's drawn by Savick, so it's way less sweet than it could be right? yeah. from the promise of Cuba drawing. They they fight. Venom immediately springs into action, yeah. grabs Troll and Hag by the face, and threatens to suck out their brains. Fair enough. Yes. That's what his mo is. Right. Yep. That's what his action figure says. Exactly. Suck out your brains. Exactly. So. I don't think you will. <laughs> I think you're all talk venom. Yeah, have you ever <laughs> actually sucked out any brains? Yeah. Yeah. How many I brains have sucked out sucked so many brains. Don't even question how yeah, many brains. Yeah, name one. Yeah, yeah, one brain. I, picture, how? Picture it didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> through the nose or what? You tell me how it happened. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure I, 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 used a, I used a long spoon. The, the Egyptians <laughs> sucked out way more brains than you. Yeah, that's a good. Immediately, one. Thanks. You really got it. I did zing. <laughs> I gave him yeah. my venom sting. <laughs> I, I smelled the taint on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so immediately they are overwhelmed by the amount of death spawn because there are a lot of them. Sure. And like John Blaze is like, hey, Venom, could you like help us out over here, man? I'm grabbing faces. Now don't forget, <laughs> it's Venom. So he's like, nah. nah. Yeah. So he just takes Troll and Hag and he busts through the ceiling. He's like, Peace. Later. Right, because I'm just here for them. Good I got luck. what I wanted. Yeah, so yeah. he just leaves them behind. You know, it's easier, like, at least there's, t- uh, he took away two of the problems. Yeah, right. and those are the like, ones that were bad. Except they weren't really doing anything because Venom mm. had really taken them down, so it's yeah. the death spawn that Why are the problem. Why is Hag in a bikini? That's what she wears. That's her costume, Dope costume. Man. That's her costume. Her they costume is like a bikini, <laughs> thigh-high boots, giant shoulder pads, or, like, shoulder armor pauldron things, yeah. and a cape. And a cape. I totally get the Dragon Ball Z reference now, by the way. Thank yeah. you. So anyway, uh, Venom explodes out of the the, the ceiling of the sewers <gasps> into the basement into of the church. the church. Yes, oh. where Spider Man's like, really? Like, this what? is the last thing I expected or need. I don't. And need then Venom's this. like, oh, Spider Man, I'm gonna no, kill you too. No, literally, Venom's like, this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> if I had a bullet journal, my bullets were kill troll and hag, eat Spider Man's brains. <laughs> yeah, but you haven't. I'm gonna. You'll yeah, do today's neither. the day. This day is, two. Brains are gross. Yeah. He like throws <laughs> Troll and Hag to the side because he's already like 
taken Defeated care of them. Why don't you kill them? They're wrapped up. You're going to kill them in like a well, second. Well, he wants to save her this one, uh-huh. as, as all good heroes do. Yeah. Um, And immediately, this Patrick Doppelganger attacks Venom. Awesome. Because he's like, oh, no, I'm going to kill him. Right. And so the two of them are fighting in the background. Great. Right? So those two cool. cool drawings fight. Exactly. Now Demo <laughs> Goblin's like, okay, now I'm going to get Hobgoblin. Here I go. What have I been doing this whole time? Standing there. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> he's composing and processing. Yeah, yeah. Processing like, I can't believe I threw the priest. Spider Man. <laughs> Why did I do I get a second Damn chance. I swear idiot, to God. Idiot. Damn it. Stupid. Stupid. like Dumbo Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm the worst Demo Goblin ever. That's why you're the lowest on the echelon of goblins. Green, Hob, Demo. Demo. Yeah. There's also like Gray, but I'd rather he didn't exist at all. So then there's another explosion. What? A whole bunch of death spawn. John Blaze oh, yeah. and Ghost Rider burst out of the floor. Spider Man's like, I think I'm taking crazy pills. Spider Man's like, Wait, is Death Watch still alive? No, no, no he's dead. Remember, just, he's dead, but and they're, they're carrying his body around. Okay. His so Spider Man's thinking like, So is it like a coincidence that this is happening in the basement of this church while I'm here? Like, or did I like step on a friggin' like old gypsy woman or something? <laughs> Spider Man's just like, What? 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 This is not my bag. This is my life. Yeah. I just go places and crazy shit happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. John Blaze is like, have you seen Venom? He's like, yeah. I've seen a it lot of things today. <laughs> what? I've also seen two hobgoblins, one of which so, is a demon. Right? So then Demo Goblin's like, holy crap, it's Zarathos. This is like Demo right. Goblin Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you too. It's an all you could Demo <laughs> <laughs> So then, like, John Blaze tries to quip about how he's like, he hates being called Zarathos. Spider Man's like, that's my job, shut the hell up. Yeah, I quip. And then immediately the Death Spawn just take Hobgoblin and pull him down in the hole. What? Why would like, they take want Hobgoblin? Because they are looking for life essence to bring back oh, Death Spawn. Right, so they're they like, cool, we'll port take him. Yeah, we'll yeah. take yeah. him, cool. And he was webbed up. He's already yep. webbed up, it's so yeah, easy. He's just like, I, you killed me, Spider Man. <laughs> he screams out after Spider Man to save him. Spider Man's yep. like, Oh, man. <sighs> How come gets pulled down the hole? Yes. Then Doppelganger, Spider-Man, and Venom fight their way, and they fall down the hole. Naturally. Then Demo sure. Goblin and Ghost Rider, who are fighting, also fall down the hole. <laughs> so now it's... <laughs> like Yukon Cornelius in the bump. Exactly. So now the Death Spawn, they've gone back down the hole. So yeah. the only things that are left are John Blaze, Spider-Man, and the Priest. They do not address what happened to Hag and Troll. Just accept the fact that inevitably, I guess the Death Spawn took them and they pulled them down the hole as well. Oh, because they have real estate. We don't want to waste. Yeah, it we don't on have that. time for that. This, so then, so this is ridiculous. <laughs> there are way too many goddamn characters yes. in this fight. Well, and then the priest puts his hat on and jumps down the hole like I'm coming too. <laughs> right? No, John Blaze goes like Welp! and he just jumps down the hole, guns a blazing. Right. Yeah. As a little slow is descent, I have, right? I have two children at home. Let's do this. Let's do this. I did not plan for college. What Here are, we go. What are, you, what are you even trying to do? Is he trying to save Hobgoblin? Like, what are, no, he's like, no, I he's gotta like, help. I have to work with I gotta Ghost work with Rider. Ghost Rider. I know there's innocents down there. I gotta help. Here I go. That's what I do. I go where he goes. Who are the innocents? Just he's, Hobgoblin. He's, right? he's, not even Hobgoblin. No, there are no never, innocents. Those, the, those homeless people are down there somewhere. He, he went with Oh, that's why they were down there in the first place. That's right. So then Spider-Man's like, I I should probably go down there, but like I've got a wife. Yeah, I'd much yeah. rather and not. And I don't want. And the, and the priest is like, you don't have to. No one would blame There's you. There's too many things <laughs> down there. The priest there. gives him a pass. Don't He's do like, it. You don't have God to. God says it's okay. It's, like, it's no, all Spider-Man, right. Stay with me. <laughs> yeah, don't don't. But leave me here. who's gonna protect me, Spider-Man? Fate says no. And the the death spawn come back up, grab the priest, and pull oh. him down the oh, hole. Oh, there you go. Spider-Man's oh, like. Spider-Man's like, well, the priest, the last thing he said was to bail, so exactly. good luck. John Blaze awakens in total darkness. I He's like, what? <laughs> He's like, what happens? I don't understand. Like, what happened? What? I don't know what, You where jumped I am. in the hole, man. But he That's can't what remember. Happened. Yeah, you're no longer with Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider was your torch. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, he can't remember because the Death Swan have engulfed him. He's trapped in the blackness of the Death Swan. What? So he just starts firing into them, which, like, disperses them. Okay. And he wakes up and sees this other part of the sweet-ass fight happening, drawn by Adam Kubert this time, in which Demo Goblin and Ghost Rider are still having blows. Doppelganger, Spider-Man, and Venom are still having blows. Right. We see Hag and Troll are down here and with, like, with yeah. the body. Yeah, they're like trying to grab Death Watch and leave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Us. And like Spider-Man's like, cool. 
This sucks. Why am I here? That's what him. am I gonna do with all this? Exactly. You just web the whole damn sewer right. up. Yeah, just so, and then just call the Fantastic Four and go like, dude, I left you an awesome thing in the basement. Right. So check it out. If you could imagine, much like before, the death spawn, there's too many of them down there. Yeah. They get the better of everyone, yeah. and they're starting to cart people away. Where? Are? John people Blaze, need to start killing these death spawn. These death spawn are a serious they're problem. A, they're yeah. a real problem, yeah. and no one's addressing them. They are the key. They, they just keep Blaze ignoring them, and they just keep grabbing the people. Yeah, but he ain't exactly. seen them doing, doing anything. So, John Blaze looks up and sees a gas main, and he fires at it, and it creates an explosion that's not nearly large enough considering it's a gas main. Right. right. The whole sewer should blow up. Well, yeah. But it that, doesn't. But, like, it should just continue to be on fire. Yes. Nope. Nope. It causes an explosion which separates part of the team from the other part yeah. of the team. Oh, yeah, we got to split the party. And so the death spawn run away with... Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Doppelganger Spider-Man, Hobgoblin, Devo Goblin, and the Priest. Okay. So we are they our A team or our B team? They're the B team. <laughs> yeah, because the spirits of Venom. Spirits of Venom's Venom. Venom's not in that Venom's team. Venom's not with that team, so it doesn't matter anymore. Venom has Troll and Hag. He's hanging on to them. When he sees Spider-Man being carted off, he's like, "They don't mean anything to me. I want Spider-Man's brains." So he goes to leap after them, just as John Blaze goes to fire, <laughs> and he wins Venom. So Venom just jumps in the what? way of Hellfire. He doesn't realize that it's going to happen. It's what? Like they're a both having Venom, though, right? No, but it's Hellfire. Uh, and fire so, hurts Venom, that's so fire, Hellfire would hellfire be even more painful. Exactly. So Venom's okay. like, Brah! and it like comes off of him for a second. Yeah. Oh wow. And immediately, like when it comes back on, like to Brock. Then Venom reaches out and grabs John Blaze, and he's going to start kicking his ass. Yeah. Uh, Ghost Rider tries to stop him. He's immediately dispatched by Venom by swinging him away like a flail. <laughs> John Blaze takes a shotgun. He's like, I winged you before. What do you think this is going to do? Right. Oh. So Venom's like, you know what? Here's what I want. Because like, John Blaze is like, what do you want? Like, what maybe we should, maybe, no, he's like, maybe we should work together. And like Venom's walking away and he's like, I want vengeance. I want the people who killed those innocent people. And I want Spider-Man's brains. And that's where I'm going. Peace. And he just wanders away. So then like Blaze and is like. And camouflages. Right. Well, and he's going into shadow. It's like. A... No, no, no. no. Oh, he does costume. camouflage. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Yeah. Because Venom's suit can do that. I didn't know that. Big thing. So then like Blaze is like, cool. Ghost Rider, you got anything? And he looks back and Ghost Rider, when he landed, thanks to Venom throwing him, has found the body of Death Watch. They've oh. left it behind. Oh, because great. it was on the other side of the so Let's set this on fire. He's like, cool, we have this. And Blaze is like, John Blaze is like, why don't I just shoot it? Yeah. yeah. He's like, that's not going to work. Well, why? it's already dead, right? He's like, we need to bring this to Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange will find a way to get rid of it. Oh, my God. I thought we dismember it. it. Yeah. Yeah, right? how about you cut it in half right now? Uh, he'll bring it back. Burn it with your Hellfire. So, yeah. Right. Or right over it with your motorcycle or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. The wheels are literal fire. So then um, Ghost Rider... Um, you work at a carnival, Johnny. Exactly. Can't you just like saw it in half or yeah, something? Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> no, I wanted to point out, here. I'm like, so this is part of Kubrit's... Yeah, he's like, yeah. this is dope. That's this insane. Is, this Arguably, is that's awesome looking. Right? I also it love is. the idea that that's what happens when he's reconstituting his suit after getting hit by Hellfire. The teeth are all over the place. Yeah. I think that's just him that's thinking just, Venom looks like that. That's just what he thinks Venom should He's got teeth coming out of his teeth. Yeah, he does. So... You know, you got that sweet teeth on teeth action. That sucks. There, he could shred some serious face. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. So they're chatting about what to do with Death Watch, and all of a sudden, like, goes her is like, oh, do you hear that? And this is where John Blaze is like, you don't have ears. And I'm like, <laughs> hang on. You have That's gone the through, question you've You've made. gone through, like, over 30 issues. With like, him. And you've been a ghost rider. And you've been one yourself. He's like, you're talking to him. Yeah. What do you mean you don't have any eyes either? Yeah. Like, <laughs> fucking Ghost Rider punches a hole through a wall. They find another like like cavernous area with a hole in it, and he's like, I can hear the sound of innocence. What the hell did they what? build New York City on top of? Catacombs, <laughs> gigantic, like thirty story deep catacombs. Wait. Can Mole Ghost Rider not stay on point for like five no, minutes? He has major well, no, because he's like, we, we're doing. No, he's got. I've got two missions here. Vengeance. 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 Well, no, always no. happening. Oh. After Dan Catch comes Three. back. Oh, he's dropped the whole vengeance thing. Like, there's more of like they've merged a little bit more, so there's a little more Danny Catch and Ghost Rider oh. in a way. So Some like piece of he's a catch him imprinted, imprinted, imprinted onto, onto Ghost Rider. Exactly. So like at one point, John Blaze is like, "I missed you when you just talked about vengeance instead of having this whole personality <laughs> thing you're developing." No, I like right. it with a personality. At least then you can so, read the damn thing. No, his two things are: I need to get Death Watch, and I really would like to save those innocent people who are down here. That's what All I'd right. like to do. But right. Death Watch is his number we're, one. And we've got Death Watch at the moment, so like maybe we can accomplish that too. Yeah. yeah. Well, John Blaze is like, we gotta save the people, but it doesn't matter because that hole that was there, the Death Spawn come up out of it as uh, they've done the entire time, yeah. and they take Death Watch's body away. That's their move. That's like their move. Yeah, that's right? their special so move. Two of them were like, huh. 
crap. And they're, and they're looking down this hole. Why was it anybody like watching the body? They were holding it. And it just, they just took him out of their like, arms? Yoink! Yep. Why they would they take it. a dead body? They want like life energy. No, because they it. need it they in need order his to corpse. resurrect They're going to put oh, it into right. there. Because they're they the Death him. Watch. Yeah. yeah. So. They can spawn something. Oh, man, we're going to miss the Death Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Venom leaps down from above and just pushes Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze into the hole. <laughs> nice. He's like, hey, get back in the plot. Hey, Ooh. here we go. Now, don't forget, what, Johnny Blaze. What, are we going to save innocents? <laughs> Nah. nah. Well, they're down there. They're down presumably. there, too. Everyone's down there. Presumably. Yep. So Johnny Blaze, remember he leapt down that hole before? Yes. And he was like, fine, didn't care about it. Totally. And this one, he's like, I'm going to die. So Ghost Rider <laughs> lands and he's like, catch me. <laughs> and he does. This wasn't my choice. I didn't pick this. Yeah. So it's then, okay if I jump in the hole exactly. myself. Exactly. Venom takes off. They take off after Venom because they're like, screw you, you suck. Yeah, we're not teaming I hate up anymore. You. And Venom immediately runs into a bunch of shadowy figures. He starts fighting them. And then Johnny Blaze is like, Stop! Because it's the people. It's, it's all the, the people, people that were down there. Oh, oh, they fell into the homeless people. Exactly. These are homeless people, and there are other people that were brought down here by the death spawn. Okay. And so basically, they've been down there. It's like a feeding pit. So Ugh. like there were they, a lot of bones. Yeah. Well, they leave oh. them down there, and then sometimes the death spawn come and they feed on them. But the rest of them are really kind of being saved for this resurrection that's right. supposed to happen. Right. Right. So it's like a pantry. Yeah. It's There's like, gonna be a feast afterwards. Exactly. Wow. And so they're like, That's okay. Up. They're like, we're gonna help you. We'll get we'll like, you know, we'll 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 get you well, out these random we'll people. Uh, this lady doesn't know look what's like a messed homeless up. person. As so I said, it's also like other random folks oh, that they pulled down okay. there. The reason we knew the homeless people were down here is because they were talking to a hobo and his community of homeless people were disappearing. Oh. So there's a portion of homeless people and a portion of just random Regular people. Regular people. You'd think somebody would have mentioned that like people were going missing. Mm. They refer to the other superheroes that showed up. They're like, what are you talking about? And we, like, address the wall that's nearby where, like, Spider-Man, Demo Goblin, Doppelganger, Hob Hobgoblin, and the priest are, like, adhered to the wall. Right. Like, goo. Yeah. And Spider-Man's like, oh, my God, this is what I've been doing to people? Damn it. No, Spider-Man's <laughs> like, hey, guys, hey, if you wouldn't mind, like, letting me and, like, the fifth guy down the road, the priest, <laughs> go, that would be great. But you could leave the others here. Yeah. That's fine. Please. But nobody has time for that crap because Venom immediately tries to kill Spider-Man. Ghost Rider uh, does something kind of like badass where he takes the chain and he wraps it into Venom's mouth and then like holds him like nice. that. Yes. Which is like a cool like concept where he's like keeping him from like going any further but also keeping his mouth from closing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he almost got brains. Exactly. <laughs> it's awesome. Immediately because, hey, you know what we need? We need another fight. Yeah. So yep. Roll Hag and the Death Spawn show up. There's explosions happening. They immediately start grabbing all the, the people that are down there. They're just grabbing everybody. Right. Inevitably, what happens is everyone fails. Uh huh. <laughs> and but the they homeless... free everyone from the wall. Right. Yes. But the homeless people are dragged away, as are Spider Man <sighs> and the others. And Death Watch's corpse is dragged away the other way. So uh, Ghost Rider has to make a choice. Will he right. save the innocents or will he go after Death Watch? He decides to save the innocents, which means that we have to turn the comic book because we oh, need to have this no. sweet page where Venom's like, I guess we're teaming up to go after the Spider Killer because he cares about getting Spider-Man back right. and they're going to save the innocent lives. Awesome. So then we go to the next issue, which is the Wait, Web of Spider-Man issue. You also left out this awesome amalgam of all three characters yeah. to encapsulate Spirits of Venom <laughs> because we have Venom's head uh -huh. on fire yeah. with shades and a cigarette. Yep. So now we have have John Blaze represented, Ghost Danny Ketch, yep. and, and Venom, Venom, naturally. Dope. The next issue was a Web of Spider-Man. No. In that he looks like a dope. Yeah, he yes. does. Um, it's a Web of Spider-Man yes. issue. Yes. And um, it's like Howard Mackey forgot what happened in this issue. <laughs> But he wrote oh. it. Or it's like, this is the alternate path that could have happened. What? Because it like, completely forgets about the fact that they just ran into all the homeless people. Oh, it's yeah. like a choose your own adventure. What happens if this Because the it case? starts out where it's like, oh, cool. The Spider-Man and the priest are taken away one way. Mm -hmm. But then later on, like he runs into Blaze and Johnny and, and Danny Catch. And it's like, it's, it's like, like they didn't happen before. before, but they did. So it's weird. That's so anyway, Spider-Man saves the priest. Okay. If you're wondering if this priest does anything, no. I'm well, not. he looks unconscious. No. He is a... The priest is just there for Spider-Man to do something. Yeah. Right, because so otherwise he would just has leave. to save somebody. Yep. Okay. But he doesn't need to because he has Mackendale, so I don't know why he has the priest. Oh, yeah, he was already doing that. Right? right. What? Well, I guess we go... Eventually, Mackendale's going to get free, right? And then he's going to fight? It's... No. Venom comes upon the trio of Demo, Hob, and Doppelganger. Right. Okay. And like, Demo Goblin is like, seriously, if he'd just done the job he wanted to do, 
Which is killed Mackendale. Yeah, he would have been done. But like, nope, he's like doing his whole thing. He's talking about his mission. Blah, oh, blah, he's blah. monologuing. Yeah, uh -huh. Doppelganger oh, Spider-Man sees that Venom's there and he's like, ha, ha, ha. So he goes to fight him. The two of them are fighting. Demo Goblin's yeah. like, I don't care about that. Whatever. He tells him his whole plan about, you know, the whole like killing all the demons and blah, blah, blah. Right. And then like, he doesn't do it. <laughs> because like, we need him to not do it, essentially. No. So he's got McIndale right where he wants him, but then he doesn't do anything. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, I'm just going to lower him into the sharks I'm and close the door and assume that he dies. <laughs> yeah, basically. I just want to scream at him for a while. Yeah, I want him to feel really bad for Yeah, us. just and tell him like that I'm the better goblin or some shit. Exactly. Like, I beat him. So, My taint out taints yours. And here's why I say that. It's because later on Spider-Man meets up with the priest and John Blaze and uh, Danny Ketch. Well, Ghost Rider. Sure. Um, they're just fighting Death Spawn. Right, just random. Just trying guy. to get okay. the people, I guess. Because remember when they teamed up with Venom? Yeah. What the hell happened yeah, there? Where did, where, where did Venom, where did Venom go? go? Nope. He went to go deal with the other thing. What? Other thing? No, but Ghost Rider and Venom you literally teamed up. just we said you were going to team up with, with him. all three of them together. Yeah, it was no. really important. No. And then they were like, "Oh no, but like we need them to split up because some people have to go over here and some people have to go over there." I think what it is. Characters. No, I think what it is is they were worried that you like if you're reading Web of Spider-Man, you're not reading the other book. No, nope. so uh, you wouldn't know what was going on. Right. So they're like, "We'll just re-explain everything here." But right. if you're reading all of it, it doesn't wrong. make any <laughs> goddamn sense. Exactly. Awesome. So they all meet up. They're trying to save the people, whatever, right? What they decide to do is just cave in the sewer. <laughs> it separates the death spawn from one side, slowing them down, because since they become can become that shadow thing, yeah. they can get through, but it is going to take them a little longer. And so now the priests, the people, all that, Ghost Rider, John Blaze, and Spider-Man are on the other side. And they're like, cool, we'll slow them down. We can get the people out of here. We can save them. Awesome. Good for us. Right. Spider-Man hears someone yell, no. And it's Mackendale. So he's like, I have to go back. Right. And no. John Blaze is like, but don't. why? You really he's don't. He's the hobgoblin. Yeah. Because yeah. I was going to take him to jail. Right. Yeah. Exactly. He to pay for his God. Well, he looks at the priest and he's just like, one life is just as important as the others. Right, Father? And the Father's like, eh. The Father just goes, you have my prayers. Good luck. <laughs> what a jackass. Peace. No. No, some lives are more important. Yeah. Get me out like of here. I guess, I guess exactly. it's better than saying, like, no, save me. Yeah. <laughs> so Spider-Man goes and he tries to stop the Demo Goblin, who's still doing his thing, hasn't actually done anything to Mackendale. Yeah, he's just like, yeah. Argh, The spider Doppelganger argh. should, by the way, be unstoppable. What should be? The spider Doppelganger. Well, he is. He has I mean, Spider-Man powers. He has six arms. He has razor webs. Yeah, well. Yeah. well he has No, he did. He used earlier on oh. to sever uh, Spider-Man's web. Oh. But... Uh, he's fighting Venom. Well, he's also like he doesn't have fire stupid, right? right? Yeah, so like, it's he's right. just a he's just a wild animal. Yeah, right. not, literally, he can't right. like strategize. And stuff. No, that's true. Yeah, oh, so you're saying no... he doesn't have any brains for Venom to eat? Right, there you and go. he has no focus. So when Spider-Man shows up, he immediately attacks Spider-Man. Venom's yep. like, no, he dispatches Doppelganger by pushing him out of the way. He goes after Spider-Man instead. Oh Doppelganger God. comes back. The evil goblin's still screaming at Hobgoblin. Yeah, he hasn't actually done Every anything. Every panel for the last, like, six pages, he's just been like, yeah. up in yeah. Hobgoblin's face. Like, what are you doing? Exactly. Just kill him. Spider -Man. No, I have to wait for him to piss himself. Yeah. <laughs> Since since De or since Doppelganger and Venom are fighting, Spider Man just starts punching Demo Goblin in the face. Sure, yes. just get him off the table. Exactly. So he's just having at it there, and eventually he gets a pumpkin bomb up. He's going to yeah. use it, but hey, you know what? The Death Spawn show up and take him away. My God! They take away Demo Goblin. They take okay. away Demo Goblin. What do they the want? Demo Goblin are like the crappy video game characters where like if who you keep turn the around story for a going? Second, yeah, you just reach up and they're like, yeah, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Whoop. nope. No. There goes April. Yep. Oh, you Thanks. stopped fighting for a second. Blah. Exactly. There, we beat the level. Right? Yep. God Son of a um, damn it. Spider Man and Somebody Venom. Somebody needs to kill these things. Right. Mackendale's freed by Spider Man. Spider Man and Venom start fighting. Ghost Rider shows up. He's like, I've had enough of you, Venom. <laughs> Venom, you're annoying. I, I'm done. So then, like, we get the, like, promise. Yeah, we were on the same side for, like, 30 seconds, and then you just bailed for no reason right? with no explanation. What I, exactly, <laughs> you suck. exactly. Yep. And now we're going to fight. We teamed up, but not yep. really, and now we're going to fight. If you'd stayed with me, we wouldn't have to fight right now. Exactly. Left, Again. So. so they would have come up with a reason because well, it looks yes. awesome when we do. Well, Doesn't I, it? What I love about this is that we have the Saviak art, right? Where it's like the two of them are squaring off. We turn the page to get the Adam Kubert art where they're fighting. And I love this image of oh. Ghost Rider grabbing Venom's lower jaw and like pulling it down. Yeah, <laughs> like cool. this is cool. Yeah, it is cool This is looking. admittedly a cool image. Well, yes. Does he just cool. shove his head inside Venom's mouth and like light him on fire? <laughs> 
You want to eat brains? Here. Here. That would be oh my awesome. God. No, Venom ends up grabbing his arms, like Ghost Rider's arms in his mouth, and he flings them away like a dog, like with a chew toy. <laughs> yeah. It pulls off one of Ghost Rider's gloves. Um, what? Oh. Come What's off? underneath? Yeah, it got bones. bones. Flaming bones. And then we get the thing that we all want to see. We want to see Ghost Rider give Venom the penance stare. Yes. Oh, so she yeah. does, but because of the fact that there's an alien symbiote, it doesn't quite work, and it kind of backfires, causing a huge explosion. <laughs> that, like, You're telling does. me the penance stare doesn't work On again. aliens. Yeah. Yeah. As usual. I am. So he has never successfully used it. Is that correct? I feel like, like he yes. uses it. It's not here. Okay. Well, in the last book that we did with him, also, he never successfully used Listen, it. Listen, okay. <laughs> so then Ghost Rider's knocked out. Yeah. Okay. Look. Okay. Right. I, Listen. I okay. can't help it if, like, my pen and stare, like, doesn't really work on this. <laughs> exactly. like, demons at home that can't, can't know about this. this. Okay. <laughs> Then this is where Adam Kubert's Venom just goes off the rails. Uh, I love John, it, by the way. John Blaze yeah. shows up, puts his shotgun, his Hellfire shotgun yep. against the back of his head. That's Venom his uses part of his costume to hold the trigger in place so he can't oh, fire it. Cool. Good move. And then Venom just starts laughing in a way I've never seen Venom's mouth yeah, I've open. never seen that. Wow. That's, that's insane. crazy. It's, it's insane. like a sand snake from it is, Beetlejuice. Yeah, it's like that <laughs> or one. like Audrey 2. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, and then then he closes his mouth and he's all scrunched up like an alligator? Yeah. What? what it's just, it's Giant just, head. he just wanted to I do it. I look creepy and weird. He was yeah. really inspired. So he, yeah. like, he knocks the, the shotgun out of uh, Blaze's hand after Blaze uses a knife to stab into his arm. Oh. He knocks Blaze across the room. Now Ghost Rider and Blaze are like wailing. Down for the on, count. Yeah, they're down yeah. for the count. Venom launches at him. Blaze does a Spike Spiegel and goes bang at him. Immediately, the death spawn show up and take everybody away. <laughs> oh, no! They do. The Deus Ex friggin' <laughs> machinas. Yeah. Yeah. Death spawn. Death, death spawns. Spawns. Death spawn God, damn um, it. Show up. Death spawn. You are only supposed to get Death Watch. That's right? the only person you have to no, grab. No, well, we gotta eat people and stuff. Yeah. How dumb are you? I need to be able to like sacrifice people. Well, stuff. they need people. They need power. And don't forget, you've what? got Ghost Rider who has a ridiculous amount of life absence. Right. Yeah. John yes. Blaze, who's oh, also God. has been touched by that, and yeah. Venom. Who's That's a, like two beings in one. Well, he's got the symbiote. I guess. Probably... That's a twofer right what there. What do they know about alien costumes? They don't need to know anything. They just feel it. They feel. They do. Oh yeah. my they do. God. Troll and hag do. Great. Um. So anyway, is that a guardian? Spart uh, well, Spider Man leaves with, um, Hobgoblin. He gets the people out. He does what Spider Man should oh, be doing. Yay. He God. gets the everyone too, out. Right? The priest, everyone out. Ooh. He turns over Hobgoblin to the guardsmen. Okay. Yeah. And then he's like, "You need to get everyone here now." What do you mean, yeah. everybody? Like all the like guardsmen. <laughs> So then Spider-Man does what Spider-Man does best. He's like, I have to go back yeah, down. Yeah, I have a responsibility to go back. For, to who? You saved everybody. Because John Blaze and Ghost Rider are down there. He's <sighs> like, I can't leave them down the there. The story isn't over yet. I got to fight somebody. I have to I'd be like to the think story. the guardsmen are like, wait, we're not going back down there. <laughs> what are yeah. you talking about? I'm not gross. going down yeah, there. You can go down that there. That sounds like a Spider-Man problem. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Why isn't Spider-Man like well, call he also, the Fantastic Four or something? Well, yeah, he, he knows their number. Well, like this is out of control. It's just seven four. Right. Well, he's like, here's the thing: the guardsmen are here, and they want Venom. They're going back down there. Right. They want to get Venom back because he escaped from their okay. prison. And yeah. Some, but some no, Venom back. escaped the prison to get revenge, revenge for the guardsmen. For the guardsmen. They don't care. Yeah, they don't care. It's like, but he's a criminal. He belongs in jail. Sure, exactly. Sure. So we see that like um. Troll and Hag have this like arena like thing where they're surrounded by all of the death spawn. Yes. And they have Blaze, Ghost Rider, and Venom up on like slabs. Uh -huh. And they're being held by mystical bindings. Oh. And which is like causing Venom to freak out. Okay. Like he can't handle it. I wonder oh. why. Maybe they're making noise. They might be. I don't know. Or maybe it's like resonating at a certain frequency oh. and it's not, it doesn't do well with sure. the alien costume. So the plan is basically all the death spawn are going to flow back into Death Watch, resurrecting him, and then immediately he'll have to feed on the three of them right. so that he's at his powers. Okay. As okay. you can see, he's kind of messed up, right? Yeah. So okay. that's the plan, all right. right? This is see now I'm starting to enjoy this. Now that we got rid of all the crazy yeah, extraneous the bullshit, I'm like, okay, I understand. Oh, the you plot mean that now. this really should have just been a two-parter? Yes. 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 Because it was all going to this. Yeah. Yes! All that other fighting was, I like, know. completely pointless. But that's the reason to buy it. It's well, just... especially the fact that, like, the the book was going one place, and then it was just like, no, they didn't actually go together. They yeah. split the up fact, again. The fact yeah. is, is that Howard Mackey has a ridiculous respect for his artists, and I mean that for real. Mm. Like, he remembers their names, he remembers working with them to this day. 
And so if Alex Saviak and Adam Kubert said, I want to draw these things, right. you're damn right he probably wrote them in there because yep. he's like, no, I want to let you do that. Oh, even right. if it doesn't I, make sense for the story. Arguably the coolest thing in this is Ghost Rider versus Venom. That's it what I want to see. drawn by Adam Kubert. Yeah, not Saviak. Yeah. Kubert's art for this is really great. Yeah. yeah. I really good. like how he draws people. I really like his Venom. I yeah. was like, what? Yeah. It's crazy looking. It is crazy awesome. So anyway, all the Death Spawn do exactly what they're supposed to do. They go back into Death Watch and he wakes up and he's like, he doesn't say anything because he's not quite a, like alive all yet. All there, yeah. yeah. So like also, like by the way, Hag keeps like hitting on John Blaze, which what? she did in the four. She's like, you're pretty hot. Like I wish <laughs> I could like eat your essence, basically. Right. Like, Thanks. <laughs> yeah, his and, like, essence. And like Troll More is like, like taint. Troll's like, honey, rein it in. Yeah. yeah. That's not for you. You're with me. Yeah, this, that's not for Are you. Are they an item? What a it's like, is he like jealous? No, he's like literally. He's like we <laughs> we worked really hard to get these three so yeah. that Death Watch could feed on them. Yeah. And like now we're almost at the finish line, and you're gonna ro- no stop. Yeah. What well, can stop. I just bang him before he? Did? That's not what she wants. She literally wants to kill him herself. Oh, oh. he's so hot. Can I just kill him? <laughs> yeah, you're saying he pisses me off so Dude, much. He's down to the sewers. He's wearing sunglasses. She just, she just keeps like touching his <laughs> chest. Oh, yeah. You don't get in there. I like those pecs. Ooh, yeah. baby. So anyway, Fucking then weird. Death Watch reaches out to touch John Blaze and is caught by the web of Spider-Man. Yay. Oh, See what ironic. The book that Mackie's writing. And he pulls away Death Watch off of the platform. And when he does that, it's kind of cool the way Kubert depicts this. Death Watch lands sitting up and then a whole bunch of Death Spawn pop out because they got to- Blast out of him they so just, they, they have to take him away. They, well, no, they have no. to defend. So right. they're going to attack Spider-Man. Yeah. I was hoping right. Spider-Man would punch him and he would just turn into a whole bunch of Death no. Spawn. No, <laughs> then Spider-Man does something I can't imagine Spider-Man doing. He picks up John Blaze's shotgun <laughs> and is like, I'm going to use it. No. I'm going to do it. Don't make me do it, that guys. That's so weird. So That's he's, he's holding it. He's like, I'm going to, don't, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Sure. Don't make but then do he what? can't use it. Use it. Like he can't actually use it. Oh, the right. Gun, it's though. a hell gun or something. Right. Only John Blaze can do it. So it jams up. Uh. <laughs> click. Uh, click. Uh, yeah. Damn it. it. Damn. Fair enough. So he chucks it to Blaze, who catches it and is able to use it to free Ghost Rider. Okay. So then Ghost Rider frees John Blaze, and they all start fighting. The Death Spawn show up. Um, Ghost Rider's main concern is to get Death Watch out of there. He takes him Good. and he like pushes him away. Troll and Hag are with the Death Spawn are just pummeling Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they like, freed Venom, right? No, they did because oh. like literally, like Johnny Blaze is like, okay, but, this is a problem. Like we need to get Spider Man out of there. More characters, but he's like, I, no. Johnny Blaze actually figures like he logics his way where I'm like, fine. Because he's like, we. I need to save Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Venom's one goal here is to get Spider-Man. So if he's gonna like, he'll get everyone away from Spider-Man True. because he wants him. And he's also lame, so I can totally beat him. Well, he's like, he'll be a loose right. cannon later on, but I think the three of us can take him. Yeah. Right. So yeah. he's like, right. I gotta yeah. roll the dice. So he frees Venom. Venom immediately springs into action. Yep. Yeah. Like cool. it's like he goes Venom fetch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he looses Venom on. Exactly. Venom immediately takes down everyone, killing Spider-Man. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um. Blaze is like, okay, here's what we're going to do. He sees uh, Ghost Rider wrap Death Watch up in his chain, and then Blaze shoots him with the Hellfire, and the chain acts as, like, a conduit for the Hellfire. Cool. And, like, just burns the hell out of him, basically. (laughs) The hell out of him? Does it kill him? Yes, presumably. I believe he does end up coming back, though. Uh, At some point. But for now, he's out of the picture. He's he's done for. So what you're telling me is that they hit enough buttons and they did a combo move. They did. It was the combo move. That's a pretty dope move, though. Yeah, it is pretty sweet, right? Um, Blaze stops Troll and Hag, who are running away, (laughs) and they, like, web them up. Spider-Man just starts punching Death Spawn, and then Venom is like, okay, here we go. But Blaze shoots at Venom, being like, back off. Spider-Man is our friend, and mm-hmm. if you think for a minute we're all not going to fight you together, <laughs> you're out of your mind. But they don't have to. The guardsmen show up and shoot him with sonic weapons. Yay! Yay. Good. All right. And they take him down. All right. Awesome. So... And then we have to turn the goddamn And then we turn the page the to end it in the most unnecessarily busy panel. Yeah, what the hell? Because obviously ran out of page real estate. Yep. yep. Oh, we got to get the last you three pages just... into one panel. Uh-huh. You could just put another page in there? No. Nope. no. So then everybody thanks one another. <laughs> Like, and, hey, Spider-Man, thanks a lot. Hey, Ghost Rider, no problem. Yeah. Hey, Johnny Blaze, you're doing hey. great. Hey, Venom, you suck. 
Exactly. Hey, priest. Priest? Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Well, he was gone. Spider Man, like, recaps. He's like, so the guardsmen <laughs> have. Let me, just round- tell, let me tell you what just happened. The guards have <laughs> rounded up the stray death spawn and the demo goblin, and they have hobgoblin and venom, so they're taking them away. Okay, so great. So we've, we've tied it all up in a little bow. Wait, when did demo goblin get defeated? Did I miss that? The death spawn took demo goblin away, and then they forgot he was in the book. Yeah. That's what it felt like. <laughs> oh. And then Spider Man had to say at the end of the book, oh, don't worry, they took care of that. That sucks. Who took care of it? When? The guardsmen. Oh, the they guardsmen. Just, they just when, they went the, when they went in the basement, they're like, oh, oh look, there's Demo Goblin. I guess we'll wrap him up, too. Yeah, we'll take him as well. Off panel. Oh, my God. So then Troll and Hag go with with Death Watch, go with um, Ghost Rider and Blaze. And Where the hell are they going? They're going to see Doctor Strange. Oh, good. Because oh, they yeah. think there are greater forces at work. And, like, Blaze is like, yeah, but didn't he, like, you know, help set up the whole, like, Lila thing and, like, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, but, like, it's fine. Like, we'll be cool. Yeah, but whatever. I'm kind of amazed the guardsmen aren't like, hey, those two killed some of our brethren. Yeah, they're coming with us. No. Nope. Yeah. And no. that's it. Wow. So, Spirits of Venom spins its wheels, and we get some cool art. Yeah. And it's great because it. there's no really satisfying conclusion. Well, they do get the bad guys. No, there literally is no satisfying conclusion. <laughs> Nothing changes. Much like right. doing a troll burnout. and hag were on the loose yeah. at the you beginning, right? Right. And now they're yeah. under but people. they could have just been, like... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, they still have to go to Doctor Strange and stuff, so the story's yeah. not finished. The only thing they've right. done is they now have Death Watch's body. Ooh, uh, which should have right. been destroyed by the uh, But it's not. Combo. It's, yeah. It, like, kills the, I guess, I think it kills the Death Spawn that are within him. Oh, And right. so, like, he's oh, okay. back to being dead. It is yeah. a completely forgettable story. That is, a, that is a mess. And We've read like several a books it's that a completely... were a mess, and this is, like, the worst. Yeah. It's a forgettable story, if not for the fact that Tiffany had to do, like, one and a half times the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you Avengers know, the background is a thousand times more interesting because, like, stuff actually happens. This is like kind of. a bunch of guys go in the sewer and fight. By the yes. way, when you say kind of happens in here, literally it's just a whole bunch of introductions to things. And then the like last the issue right, is all, yeah, of, the... is all of, of, of that <laughs> set up. We so, meet Michael Morgan. It's like a, a soap opera. The soap opera, you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're spinning your wheels, and then on Friday, Friday everything happens. It's funny, there's actually a fairly interesting issue. Of, one issue. One issue of Spirits of Vengeance that's in here. It's issue number two. It, it's the one that is not tied directly into Midnight Suns, but it has to do with what's going on in the Midnight Suns. So one of the Lilin's name is Skinner. So like when Lilith, this is going back to Midnight Suns real quick. Yeah. When when Lilith puts out the call to her children, like only Pilgrim shows up okay. because most of them have moved on. Lilith was never coming back, even though she was mm. meant to. They don't believe in the legends or anything like that. They've just gone on to do their own thing. Okay. And like Skinner is one of them, and they Lilith has um, Pilgrim take her to him. By the way. Remember Blackout, the demon that was like a, a, a Danny Ketch villain? Yeah. He is also one of the Lilith, oh. but like not really. He's like, if, if she's their mother, he's, she's more like his grandmother. Okay. Like, it's like he's been diluted, but the blood is oh, there. Oh, he's like right, once cool. removed or something. Yeah. Exactly. So that's how, like, we tie it more into Ghost Rider, I guess. Sure. So anyway, they go to meet this guy, Skinner. Skinner went on and got a family. What? Oh, whoop. Right, like he used to be like he's a demon though. Well, no, he's like a dude. Uh, Look at him. He's a guy. Yeah. He he basically like has like random fin things that come out of his bones. Like he's got like crazy. So it's like an awesome power. Oh, yeah. Bone fins. Bone fins. But like he was like the hired gun. Like he would he was unstoppable. He would kill anyone and everyone. Humans, demons, other Lilin. Mm. Like it didn't mm. matter. He was the guy to go to. Okay. And now he has this family. And like <laughs> Pilgrim shows up. He's like, I'm not joining you. Lilith's there. He's like, she's like, you have to. That's part of the deal. Sorry. He's like, right. no. I have a family. Yeah. And she's like, and you're part, like, but we're your family and we come first. She reasons the fact that it's like, they'll be gone in a blink of an eye from right, you. Right, yeah. Right. And so, like, basically, like, I think Death Watch says something about, like, maybe we should have, like, taken his family with us so that we knew that he would, like, cooperate and not kill us. Mm-hmm. And Lilith's like, chill out, Blackout. Just mm-hmm. relax. Skinner, Ooh, that is dark. Skinner hears that, and what he'll inevitably do is go into the house and kill his own family so that he, they can't be used against him. Uh, and I'm what? like, that is messed it's, up. Yeah. So basically, Skinner and Blaze end up meeting because, like, that's who she wants to have killed. And like, now you have two fathers going against one another, and okay. like, it's actually kind of an interesting issue. That's uh, cool. Out of all of this, right? Right. And Darkhold was also good. Right. <laughs> but like, I was like, Skinner's neat. <laughs> like, I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. He has a ridiculous outfit. I had a family, and Blaze is like, I have a carnival. 
And a family. <laughs> and a family, but yeah. mostly a carnival. Well, he's like, inevitably, he's just like, you know, like, I ended up, he, he like, conf like, confides in Blaze that he killed his family. He's like, because of what would have happened. And he's just like, then you're no father. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty messed up. That's yeah. Dope. Like, screw you. You suck. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, that's neat. And then I think they killed him and he comes back as this crazy ass skeleton. Cool. Oh. Hilariously, also in um, Spirits of Vengeance, issue three, um, we see um, the carnival life going on there. Mm. And um, we see that, like, uh, John Blaze is just trying to, like, relax. He sent his family away so that they wouldn't be a part of all this. So they're, like, someplace else being protected by some of the, like, uh, carnies. Okay. And, um, oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Be no, 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 they're, no, all, no, they're his carnies. It's fine. They're right. all family, so yeah, it's totally they're gonna, cool. They're going to lose a lot of dollar bills, you know, <laughs> trying to defeat games that are rigged against them. Exactly. But otherwise, they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, but they'll no, be good. They're, they're, they run the show. Yeah, they they're know internal. the games are rigged. So I asked you to do this because uh, I thought there was nothing more Halloween-y than everything that was in this kind of universe. You got goblins, you got skulls and ghouls. <laughs> yeah. And dark watch. Demons. Yeah. Demons death and watch. shit. Demons and death. You got that, you got the doppelganger Spider-Man. Yeah, you got some scary, scary stuff. Looking. It's pretty. A lot of teeth. No, All no. kinds of teeth. The you got scariest, teeth for days. The scariest part about this is the story itself and what a mess yes. it is. The people were paid to make this. And people Ooh. paid to read this. Yeah. <laughs> How many copies there are. And now you've watched it. So you know what yep. happens. And you can't unwatch it. So maybe we'll put a link in the description for you to get nope. one of these. We're not, oh, we shouldn't no, do that. Come on. No, you got if you want to read this. <laughs> you thought trick <laughs> or treat. Exactly. You yeah. thought this would be a trick a treat, but it in fact was nope. a trick. We yeah. got you. We I had wanted to do Uzumaki, but we were afraid. Yeah, yeah. that's the scary part. That that's would the, be the scary yeah, part. Yes, so copyright you. strikes. <laughs> the town of spirals. Oh. That doesn't sound like No, I don't I like want. that. I don't want yeah. any part of it. No, seriously, it's <laughs> becoming a Netflix series and like the, town the of book. Spirals? Literal well, it's called Uzumaki. It's it's an oh. obsession with, with spirals. It's how this one town is overcome by spirals. And I was I was like, I wanna do it. I wanna do it. <laughs> Dude, there's this one guy who's oh. like who becomes obsessed with them. We have like this protagonist, this girl. She ends up spotting um, her friend's father. He's in an alley. He's looking at a snail, right? And he's like, he's like, oh, the spiral's so beautiful, right? Whatever. Yeah, what does it mean? He's like, I'm like, he's just obsessed with it. He commissions her father, who's a potter, to make a special pot for him with a painted spiral on it. But then he doesn't want it anymore. He doesn't need it. His son has started to notice his his dad's obsession. He wants to leave the town. He's like, let's just run away. Like I know we're in high school and all that, but let's just run away. Let's he leave. He tries. They go in a spiral. Right. His mom is like getting worried and like. Like kind of is like kicking him out to the curb essentially he ends up ordering like a specialty wash tub that arrives mm -hmm. and like inevitably he dies because he puts himself into it and then becomes a spiral and he spirals around himself in a way that's humanly impossible he it's like it's like a spaghetti strand oh. out within the tub they don't recognize what's in the tub until they open it and they find him laying in there and so when they cremate his body Smoke rises and it's in the shape of a spiral, ah. which will inevitably drive his mother crazy because uh. she wants to avoid spirals and she goes mad knowing about the spirals. Inevitably, like they go to the doctor and there's like an image of like the inner ear. Oh, yeah. And they're like, spiral. oh my God. And they like hide it and they take it away from her. But she has all these visions and dreams of her husband coming to her in like, like spiraling as well and being like, you can never get rid of the spirals within you. And so inevitably she'll like gouge out her own ears. Uh, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Thanks for that spooktacular That's story. messed up. It's not even... That's super. better. Yeah. <laughs> You, you think then, uh, yes. Yeah, then last year's? Then uh, Magari Fault. You'd have to see the imagery. I can't show you the imagery. It Maybe was that's our, why it's better. I was I also going people's bodies get well, all turned into well, weird There was the other story I was going to do, which was like the tale of the dreamer or something to the effect of that, where it's like this dude has a friend or whatever. And like, here's the thing. He gets cursed by something, right? And like every night his body tries to like, like, basically inside itself out. Uh, and so like. Oh, he Liliths. She, no, but on its own. Like we're like one, like she's there with him, and his arm just pulls into itself, and yeah. like he's inverting essentially, and so like she tries to stop it. She ends up taping herself to him to stop it, and inevitably she's pulled into him. Yes. Ah. Yep. Nope. nope. And like nope. And like when like the cops come to the house, there is like a dark version of him there, and they're like, we're looking for this girl, and they're like, well, you'll never, you cannot find her, for she is within me, and she has become like my intestines. Essentially. Oh, what? What? No. Every time I eat, she eats. <laughs> 
like she's part of me now. Uh, uh, everybody pretty cool. messed up, <laughs> even for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm a monster. Yeah, Krom, I don't think you'd um, live long or exist well in the Junji Ito world. Uh, no, I don't think I yeah, want to go just, there. Just stay here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and making it through to the end of this episode, the spooktacular episode. Um, if you want, you can check out the description box down below. Maybe it's down there, or maybe we spared you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks again for watching. I'm Tiffany. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Bye. Happy Halloween!